Today we're going to talk about the steering gear. The steering gear provides the movement of the rudder of the ship in response to a signal from the bridge. So, doon sa bridge, meron doon kung tiyatawag nilang timon ito yung drive wheel natin sa barko kung baga sa kotse ito yung manobela once it receive a signal from the bridge of port, starboard how many degrees so the steering gear must provide the movement of the rudder so this rudder yung alam natin yung rudder ito yung nag move ng barko port or starboard side the total system may be considered made up of three parts for the steering gear number one meron tayong control equipment Number two, we have the power unit. Number three is the transmission to the rudder. The control equipment, it conveys a signal of desired rudder angle from the bridge and activates the power unit and the transmission system until the desired angle is reached. However, the power unit provides the force yung power unit ito yung hydraulic pumps yung may dalawa tayong hydraulic pumps na nagpo-provide ng hydraulic force doon sa rudder para mag-move yung rudder to the desired angle and the transmission system is the steering gear by means na yung movement of the rudder is accomplished so it's the transmission may mga requirements na currently must be meet by a ship by the ship's steering system particularly yung sa solas na there must be two independent means of steering So sa barko, usually or sa lahat na makita na rin na meron tayong dalawang hydraulic power unit. Yung number one pump, number two pump. So if one pump fails, so meron pa tayong backup pump na ano na magpo-provide ng hydraulic force. Yung the power and the torque capability must be such that the rudder movement can be swung or swing from 35 degrees from one side to 35 degrees the other side with the ship at maximum speed so hard port and hard starboard And also, the time to swing from 35 degrees one side to 30 degrees the other side must not exceed 28 seconds. 28 seconds lang dapat ang abutin, sabi ng Solas, na pag-move niya from 35 degrees one side to 30 degrees the other side. Pero tinitesting naman to dun sa sea trial. Yung steering gear system, may mga protection din ito. So, this must be protected from shock loading and kailangan yung pipe works niya, exclusive lang talaga dun sa kanya. Kasi this is very critical equipment sa barko. Tapos, meron lang sariling control or steering gear room yung steering gear na ito so meron siyang dedicated lang na kwarto doon sa barko ko 
yung mga tankers naman of 10,000 gross tonnage and upwards meron silang two independent steering gear control system which are operated from the bridge where one fails change over to the other must be immediate so the steering gear itself must comprise of two independent systems where a failure of one results in an automatic change over to the other within 45 seconds itong condition na to usually halos lahat naman nasa barko ganito na nire-require na rin ng solas na merong dalawang independent system pag nag failure meron kang maririnig na audible and visual alarms sa bridge at saka na rin sa makina sa makina pag halimbawa nagkaroon ng hindi na gumana yung, yung pump hydraulic pump na wala ng power supply ang mag alarm doon sa makina ay yung no volt supply so pag nagkaroon din ng single facing yung motor so mag alarm din yun sa makina sa control room yung steering gear meron tayong tinatawag na telemotor ito yung electrical control equipment ito ay electrically operated itong telemotor kung tawagin ay hydraulic control equipment kasi it controls the steering gear yung steering gear there is a pump required in the hydraulic system which can immediately pump fluid in order to provide a hydraulic force that will move the rudder so dapat instant yung response na mga pump doon sa pag change over ng ng power if one pump fails to ano fails to start or fails to run so yan yung ano natin yan yung steering gear system natin sa barko itong example natin ito yung tiyatawag na ram type yung ram type hydraulic steering gear meron siyang cylinder for each gear so cylinder dalawa makita niyo yung ram type may dalawa siyang cylinders tapos may dalawa din siyang ram tapos may isang tiller tapos may dalawang motors tapos sa solas nire-require din na kada pump meron silang dedicated na tanke ng hydraulic oil then meron din dapat hiwalay na hydraulic oil tank na nire-require yung solas in case na for refilling para sa mga hydraulic pumps So itong hydraulic system natin ng steering gear ang principle lang nito ay yung Pascal law na if there's a pressure applied to one side and it will be equal at all sides. So yan yung Pascal's law in which kung gusto niyo yung further na investigation sa Pascal's law So, you can search it sa physics. Sa ngayon, hindi pa natin siya mapapaliwanag kasi kukulangan yung oras natin. So, yan lang po yung, ano, yung steering gear system.